Hello guys, welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. Today, I might have painted something. Okay, I painted something. Okay, we're gonna grab the minigun. This is how you paint. So you're gonna wanna grab your minigun. And you're gonna wanna choose the pink paint, like always. Paint the ceiling, cause why not? Next, you're gonna wanna take the nuclear fallout um poster and kill it. Well, we can't use that one. So you're gonna wanna grab your yellow. That's not the right yellow. Deep it in yellow paint, what I have no idea how to do. So you're gonna like, one. You're gonna wanna like, do I like? Think it's working. Something. Okay, now that you have your yellow paint, you're just gonna wanna paint over it, just like so. Now you have a nuke picture, so now you can go ahead and save that, cause why not? So you can take out your beautiful old camera. Get the dot right in the center there. Wrong one. Boom. Easy. Next, you're going to want to go up here, because why not? Now, you're going to want to take a brush, dip it in the water, and now, you want to be very precise on this. Drop the brush. Dip it in the black paint. Place it on the floor. Pick it up. Make sure it doesn't work because it's not supposed to and it never wants to. Now that you mixed your colors, I think you're going to need that up here. But it's okay. So you're just going to take the top of that and go from side to side just like normal art class. Just like so. And now when you're all finished, you can jump down to die. It's fine. Um, first, you're going to want to grab the present, though, and grab the bouncy ball. Because why not? Grab the bouncy ball. Do anything with it. I don't really care. Shoot the bouncy ball, because we don't need it. Shoot it down, please. It makes a disgusting noise. Let's... Here, how about you go in there? Get in here. Get over here. Get in the garbage chute. Die. Is it down there? Get down there. Now that you've done that, you can, you can do nothing because you don't have a job to do. Remember, 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 you don't have a job to do. Next, you're gonna want to take your blow dryer and squirt paint over the paint all over the walls, and then you're gonna want to squirt some new paint and do it again because we like to make messes. There you go. Now you're going to want to take this dish right here. Your McDonald's Play Play dish. And you're just going to want to add some salt water to that. You blow it off. Blow it blow. see all the bubbles evaporating that means that you're making a mess and someone's gonna get angry at you like the art studio manager and probably your mom so it's fine next you're gonna want to take your uh, minigun and shoot it in there and now you're gonna want to put it in there now you're gonna want to examine this very closely make sure you're not running out of paint 
If so, eject that bad boy, because you don't care about it at all. And then you're going to want to grab your white paint, and you're going to want to be mean to your floor. Next, you're going to want to take another nuke picture, and you're going to want to color that in, because you have no idea what you're doing anymore. In the up. Next, you can take this, put it on the wall, and I think you can attach a magnet to that, because you can. So you can put that baby on the wall. Boom, magnet. It doesn't actually work, but okay. I'm just gonna color that baby out. Look at that. She looking smooth. Let's color all of that. Once you take it off, you should have something that looks like this. You're gonna wanna go in this room, but you don't wanna go in that room because going in that room is for nerds. Don't ever drop the minigun. You're going to be a big nerd yourself. Make sure to grab a thing first. Make sure to shoot the window. Make sure to shoot the windows. Now paint. No. Why would I be doing a mission? Now you're going to want to put this baby over here. Send painting. Sell in the marketplace. Boom. You did it. You actually didn't do it. You gotta hit go on sale. You're gonna wanna also become bankrupt because we like to become bankrupt. So make sure to become bankrupt in this game. That's one way to the success. Okay. Next, you're gonna wanna put your tiny painting on there and you're gonna wanna kill it because you don't like it. And you never actually did. And now it has hard feelings. Next, you're just gonna, gonna grab all of this. Just gonna smooth it on there. And, uh... Throw that over there, because we don't... Make sure you ruin your entire painting with water, because you don't like the water. So just... Now you're going to want to put this over, over there. But yeah, fill it up. Yeah. And then you realize that you're bad at painting, so you take some of the squirt paint and squirt it all over. Because you have no idea what you're doing, remember? Next, take this and kill that. Because you don't know what you're doing. Remember? If you were watching the tutorial, you would have known what you're doing. Yeah, you might need to watch the tutorial. So if you're smart and watched it, congrats. No, probably not. What am I doing? Yep. Uh huh. Next, just squirt some. Okay, now you're gonna wanna grab this cardboard thingy and throw it over there because it's being mean to you. Next, you're gonna wanna take. Because why not? Next, you're gonna wanna um, do something like not sneeze. Got that? And you're going to want to mop the floor, so you got to clean it up, because there's now um, parts of the thing all over the floor, and you don't want to clean it up. Next, take your cyan paint tube over there, and put and make a perfect circle. Don't worry about the splatter on the wall. You didn't do that. Next, take your spray paint, and just do all that in that circle. And then just take it off. And now it should look something like this, because you're bad at painting, remember? If you were watching the tutorial, you would have known you're bad at painting, right? Yeah. Right. That sounds pretty accurate. Now you're just going to color it over here. This is like real art class where you want to give up every seven seconds.
So don't worry if you fail because you're going to fail and you're going to want to quit anyway. And you know, just like the uh, art class at school, you don't like it and it's very mean to you and it's bad. And once you're done with your uh, red and blue painting, you're going to want to select a conduct and contractor and then you're going to want to send the painting to here's he asked for another kind so be mean to him and i'm going to set this for three hundred dollars and yeah so did i break something yeah change canvas Wait, I am talking to a ghost. You're th no, I'm, not here. no, I'm talking to the ghost. You're the ghost. Remember? You signed up to this, not me. Wait, really? Okay, once you have your mixed matched colors, once you just grinded everything together, you're just going to want to create the worst painting you can because you're good at painting. Remember, if you were to watch this tutorial, you would have known that you're good at painting. Right? Because you followed along with my steps, right? Right. Next, you're going to want to go over here and leap like a bleep bunny. And a shin shun running. What's a bleep bunny? I don't know what a bleep bunny is. Next, you're going to want to watch it. Ah, perfect. Next, you're going to want to take this weird dagging digger thing, Daniel the Tiger um, digging thing, because we like Daniel the Tiger digging things, because we do. Next, you're going to want to actually do something good, so you're going to take a canvas, put it on the stand, fix it because you broke it, turn down the dang speed. So you think you did good enough, so take this thing. I'm just going to do that. And now, start painting. Boom. Once you created the masterpiece of paintings, you're going to want to take it, put it under here, because you don't, well, we don't have fires in this game, so you're going to want to do the second best thing, and wash it. And now, once you have, like, a chin on it, on your painting, you're going to want to throw it away, because it's now wet. And everything, and you don't feel like waiting for it to dry. Once that's done, do that. Next, you're going to want to take your small paintbrush and actually try to write. Uh huh. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm talking to a ghost, by the way, just in case you can't hear the ghost, because it's a ghost. Remember, ghosts don't talk. I don't think you can, though. The, the, ghost, is the, the ghost is talking. Totally. The ghost is actually talking for some reason. Why does this ghost last? What? Okay, so once you did that, you're going to want to... Pull up the garbage chute because you don't want to see your atrocious writing. Scribble that out. Now it's even more atrocious. So you're going to take your minigun and you're just going to kill it. Because it's atrocious. And once you do that, you like the color red and you like using your minigun and you don't think it's atrocious. So you use that instead. And once you run out of paint, you're looking at your dead um, bottle of spray paint, and you're like, why are we still here? Just stop her. 
And then you throw that on the ground. You need to take your sweep sweep. And you're going to sweep all that up. Because it's now closing time and you have no idea how to fix any of this. Well, good thing they can't hear you. Rip. Unless. Display capture. Is it working? Okay. I'm not sure. Okay, next you want to actually fill this up with water. I'm going to give you the correct tutorial now because apparently I gave you the wrong one. Splash, splash water all over your computer screen uh, in this game. Uh, it will work just fine. And make sure you are mopping while filling it up with water. Now that you have water on your mop, you're going to want to mop. It's not actually called a mop. It's called a broom for those people who don't know how to use broom mops. Whatever they're called. I'm not sure how you say it in America. I'm in America. What? Uh, so we, so once you get a message, 10,000 message. So once you have um, big money in this game, take the... Uh-huh, so you want to go bankrupt by buying canvases. You're going to want to buy that big one right there, so you have 30 cents. You have 30 cents whole, so you're not bankrupt yet. Congratulations. Just going to clean it with um, a little... Fibin fluoride. Just gonna clean it up a little bit. I'm gonna take some stuff from my rolling bin here. We're gonna take some more. We're gonna have the black stuff. And then once you mix like all of that, it's gonna grab it all. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm not saying the wrong tutorial ghost. So be quiet. Shut up. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, <gasps> the ghost doesn't want to shut up. Now that's a nice ghost. That is a nice ghost. The list of nice ghost book. That, that ghost is on there. Imagine not being able to hear the ghost right now. You're such a noob. And once you're done with your canvas, put it on here. Uh, sell it on the marketplace because it's actually good. Sell it up for like a thousand dollars. You'll get yeah, you'll get yeah, and you'll get rich with money, and then you'll spend it all on one cent. Yeah, and you'll have one cent left. So yeah. So so um. And that's not the end of the tutorial. Next thing you're going to want to do to conquer the game is you're going to want to take out your minigun. Get rid of that the canister. Grab a new one. Eject that one and keep getting them until you have 17 of them on the floor. Then start shooting everything because you don't even like this place anyway. And when, then once you do that, you're going to just go up the elevator. And then you gotta figure out how the heck you're gonna clean that off. And you realize you brought the mop up here, so you're gonna clean it, right? Right? Ghost! Ghost, right? Your call your call sign is ghost. Okay. Once you do that, you're just going to scrub up the fan a little bit. Scrub up all of this because you're dirty and you don't know how to clean any of this. Throw the tables off the thing. Clean them up a little bit. Throw them off. What, you see that wall over? Ye yeet that water bucket. It just froze and now there's water all over the floor. Now you're going to want to take your uh, canvas. Wrong canvas. You're going to take your canvas, 
You're now going to paint up there because you feel like it. So get all of your equipment up here. Make sure you make sure you have equipment. And then you're going to want to take some of that equipment. Just make sure you have enough equipment. Make sure you have enough ammo in your minigun. Uh, I would recommend highly using the yellow color because it will give you good luck for the rest of your life. No, seriously, don't risk it. It will actually work. Yeah, okay, so it's the color of PP. It will work. <laughs> okay, so um, once you do that, you're going to want to minigun it first. Then you use the scrub-a-dub-dubs. Then do this with all the same color so you have no idea what you're doing. Then take the yellow. Then you're going to want to mop it up. And then once you have actually no idea what you're doing anymore, you're just going to take the big rolling thing, whatever it's called. I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's called a roller when it's actually called a roller. Okay, so it wasn't called a roller. And then once you do that, once you have 17 different colors, uh, you find out that you're actually bad at painting and you have a DNA test which says you're good at painting. So you yeet that canvas off of there. You should have probably took it off the stool first, but whatever. Now you're going to shoot it with your minigun because you hate it a lot. And shoot the underside of this too. There's probably no. Yes, now you're just going to shoot everything because you hate it all. Make sure you get inside of the crevices. Make sure to get under here as it tries to squish you, but you're too man-like. Wait, what? And ladylike. Okay, so when you do that, you're just going to come down and you're going to realize you almost died. And do you realize how you're running out of paint because you used a paint bottle? What? And then you realize that you can just put your mop in the broom and you can swap up the broom. So you're going to want to swap up the broom real quick. So once you swap up the broom and all of that, is this making sense? Okay, it's kind of making sense. Got it. Yes. Always am recording. So I was recording from this morning. Yep. Also, it's going to take forever to upload, and we uh, aren't, I wasn't recording all of that this morning. We're only 20, we're only 23 minutes in. Uh -huh. Wait, what? Wait, what? So, um, once you're finding out that you're actually beginning to like painting and you think you can take on the challenge of actually trying to do the game properly, what nobody's ever done before or accomplished, I'm going to show you what it's like to try to beat this game. So, you're going to want to first clean everything up because you're bad. So, you're going to want to accept that. First thing you're going to want to do is uh, find out what they want. So, uh, So actually, I'm wrong. You're going to want to color the trash door totally not trash and green. But you find out that everything is broken on the trash door, and it's very dirty, so you're going to clean that puppy up. And then you're going to want to take your sponge, because you like sponges for some reason. You don't know how to use a sponge, Mr. Ghost? Okay. So once you, I didn't do that. So once you do that, so uh, yes, you did. 
So once you actually do that, you don't want to color it green and say totally not trash. You want to put brown strips on the stride so to make it look like poop. So um, because this is the sewage door actually, so you're gonna wanna actually write totally not sewage on it. And once you do that, you don't actually know how to write anything, so you just put a big old E C T. Once you put an X down, you're okay forever, and you don't need to worry about spelling anything. Yeah. And once you do that, you can continue on with your wobbly life. <coughs> but once you do that, don't <coughs> don't sneeze. No. So once you do that, you actually figure out how you can take this cart to clean the stuff off the ceiling. No. So um, you 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 figure out, and I will join you in Ghostland. You figure out you can use this cart to get to the ceiling, to um actually clean it because you don't know how to clean anything. So once you figure out that you're actually not smart, you can get the um thing to climb on the ceiling. You know. Yeah, so you're going to want to get the canvas up here, too, what you totally put up here. And once you're out of ammo in your minigun, yeet that thing over near the uh, refill station. Just going to yeet that thing. Don't, uh, get, don't get killed in the ceiling fan, because now you see a bunch of stars, and I think the game is breaking. So just don't do that, please. Oh, God. So just don't, just don't use the ceiling fan to not die. But when you figure out, you can just put the big old cart thingy on top of the table and make life a lot easier. Well, you figure out you made life a lot easier. So you're going to want to yeet that table to the other side. You're going to want to... So now you're going to want to figure out a way on top of that. So you're going to want to grab another table. And after that thing just fell on top of the other table, you think the other table is good luck. So you use that table. How many times have I said table, table, table? So once you do that, you're going to want to put this cart on top of that table. And then the table fell down. So you yeet those tables over there on the other side. Because you don't trust them because they're not working out too well for you. So yeah. Next thing you try to do is put the cart on top of the big, big, big thing to use that instead, you know? Right, ghost? Ghost. Come in, ghost. Come in, ghost. Come in, ghost. I do you think using the cart on top of the big thing is a good idea? This cart. Or don't you see my presentation? Yes. Yes, screen share. So I think you can you can use this, but it doesn't want to work. So yeet that thing. So once you figure out that it doesn't want to actually kill you when you get on this thing, just go ahead and go up. Nothing bad is going to happen, right? Little did you know a shadow creeps in, and you're now stuck up here. Because you don't know that there's a giant button right there. And you think that the button's on the bottom. And now it's dirty down here. So you need to clean, clean, clean. But now you don't have a water bucket to actually clean it. So now you're stuck up here. All you can do now is paint. Even though you just fell off and broke both of your legs. But you figure out painting is the only thing you want to do. So you refix your legs. Are you asking how you did that? Are you asking how you refix your legs? You refix your legs by refixing your legs. 
and it makes a lot of sense and that'll be great xd okay so once you have your black paint roller thing uh you figure out that you made a giant blood strip on the wall so it's fine so you're gonna want to paint the entire computer and monitor screen black I don't know, I can't see anything anymore on my computer. Hold up. Okay, as I was saying, um, your computer screen should now look like mine. Black, where you can't see anything. And then you realize you're out of paint already, because you're bad at the game. So yeah. So once you figure out that you actually have zero idea what you're doing anymore, you take a little pie plate and fill it up because why not and you scribble over everything. yes you scribble over everything because why not scribble over every piece. you scribble over every single thing in your masterpiece Just, and you ruin it. yes and you ruin it and then you cry Yes, 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 you are learning from the master. So once you have your um your black pie your black pie chart, you go to your uh, your totally not sewage um garage door here and you just scribble over it. And then you cry. <laughs> Right? Is that how you cry? Yeah, totally. So now you're ready to paint that ceiling for when you're actually trying to fix it. Let's go up there and paint it! But when you're actually not trying to paint it, what? <laughs> Nowhere. I don't know exactly where I'm going at all. So now you just gotta paint that ceiling like you love it. Even though you actually don't love it. And now you just hurt its feelings. And now it wants an apology. But you don't know how to give those yet since it's only 2021. And you haven't invented apologies yet. No, really, you really haven't. I haven't, though. Imagine not knowing how to say an apology. Well, you're speaking to the man who doesn't know how to do it. So once you, like, clean up your computer monitor slash screen a little bit, what? And it a uh, and a painter one in it. <laughs> Beautiful one million dollar paintings. Cry until you die. No, maybe. So when you figure out you actually had a pie chart right here, you're stupid. Yeah. So once you write that and you say storage, you have got to figure out how you actually need to clean up this place since it's dirty as anything and nobody will buy this because of the dirt and paint on the walls. So you got to actually clean it piece by piece. You'll clean anything but the ceiling, by the way. 
Do you really? Do you? Uh huh. So you actually figured out that you don't like cleaning. So you leave the place the way it is. You at least clean the floors a little bit. But then you find that water bucket and you're like, we need to fix now. So when someone buys the place, the floors won't at least be dirty for the reverse. So you just dump it all over the floor, because why not? Right? Mm -hmm. you, gotta, you gotta paint all of this, because you don't like the new owners. Because they're just gonna paint it all over that. Wait, what? Oh. What'd it say radish? Isn't it like that food from the MCAC in 1940? Yeah. Or. No, I'm not forgetting what you just said. Okay. Okay, so once you actually figure out to sell this place, you want to say one last goodbye on top of your little Ferris wheel here. Well, little did you... So once you like scribble on the ceiling, you jump down and break your legs. It's fine. You fix yourself by um by lowering this thing on your head and your stomach. You just paint all over the floor. Knock this over because who needs it? You actually need that because I think it's something important. It's a spoon. Yeah, there's. I know, right? So once you actually figure out that you're going to need to paint everything all over the floor again, I'm going to squirt some stuff on the floor. I'm just going to squirt. Use the pink. Actually, there's kind of clean stuff over there. When you figure out that you're not doing your job well enough. So you drop everything in your inventory. Especially the broom. Drop it all. You grab the big boy. The minigun. What color should I use? Completely black? Or completely cyan? Mm. Yeah. So you take that minigun and you spray it like you just don't care. Everything is now going very wrong. And but little did you know, the owner is now coming. So you need to trash this place up as much as you can as you're bullying the pink straw. As you're bullying the pink straw, you eject that to get the pink boy. You, uh... Yeah, but you have no idea where the exit actually is to this place. The problem is, there is no exit. So, there is no exit, and we don't escape. Bye, have a good day.